Good morning, campers. Good morning. So we had a chilly sleep, but it was pretty quiet. I mean, quiet in terms of no bears, <laughs> no mice or birds or anything trying to get in, and the um, no rain, no precipitation. But the uh, <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the waves were were pretty raging right up until basically this morning. And now, as I showed you a little bit earlier, it's just calm and beautiful out there. So, and not a cloud in the sky. Nope, the sun is out. It is crisp though. I'll say you can see our breath. <laughs> it's it probably got below zero. I just saw some frost on stuff uh, this morning, but uh, we kept relatively warm and we're just having our coffee and we're gonna have some of Sherry's famous porridge, quinoa porridge. And then I'm going to head out to um, on a mission, should I choose to accept it. And I've already chosen to accept <laughs> it. So I'm going to head out on a mission that should take me three hours. And uh, Sherry's going to... What are you going to do when I'm gone, Sherry? I'm collecting firewood. Nice. For three hours. So she'll be able to have a bonfire for a week while I'm gone. Pretty scarce here. It is actually pretty scarce around here. That's true. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have some breakfast and our at least one coffee and then uh, we're going to get our butts in gear. And then we might see a friend today might uh, be coming onto the trail. He's he's up from southern Ontario and he might be stopping in to say hi to us. And uh, so you might meet somebody new today. Perhaps. We'll see. Fun. Yay. <laughs> ah, peace framing your face. Hey gang, so I'm back from my journey. Remember I had a mission this morning. I am back from that mission. That mission was to get to the car, which was back at the starting point, in order to grab these cables, which somehow did not make their way with these chargers <laughs> to our campsite with us. But now our main cameras are charging and Something super cool happened along the way. I got to the to the Sinclair Cove boat launch, basically the entry point back here, and I actually happened to run into a good friend of mine, surprised me. I don't know how the timing worked out, but my good buddy Zane. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> all the way from Southern Ontario, oh, from yeah. Sanya, actually from by way of Killarney. Yeah. And then on your way to Algonquin, yeah. this dude is like adventuring <laughs> like crazy. You gotta check out his channel. Oh, yeah. He's all over the place. Heck yeah. But we made it, man. Yep. Good to see you. And he always comes bearing gifts. Hell yeah. Because he's the sweetest dude in the universe. You got Sherry. A beautiful Nalgene with uh, with some cool stickers on it and his very own beer. Check this out. This is how much of a badass Zane is. <laughs> He's got his own beer from the Refined Fool. So we got ourselves an adventure ahead of us today. It's beautiful outside. We're going to hike a little bit. We're going to probably find a beach and go swimming. Awesome. To try to wipe the stink off us. And uh, we'll see you guys very soon. I brought cookies. <laughs> and he brought cookies. Come on. Hell yeah. I kind of remember, well, like, there's the sign, so. I kind of remember doing this and being like, really? This is the way? What did you find, my man? My new backcountry necklace. Necklace, right on. That's this, this is how you get all the hot girls, and I'm in bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we're finding some interesting things on the trail here. <laughs> finding out new stuff about our friends. <laughs> like when Sherry sometimes holds a tree back for Zane, 
and he says thanks and she just lets it go and it smacks him in the face. Yeah. Maybe that's what that is. That's protection against more tree branches in the face. Yeah. I get it, man. I'm expecting a, an anvil to hit me now. <laughs> well, Welcome to the me. north, buddy. Yeah, you already trapped me here. <laughs> so we're following rock cairns. Sometimes you got to get up high to see the next. I feel like it's that way. Does this look trail-y to you guys? There's a little, uh... If you see a blue guy, that's where we're going, buddy. Oh, I'm actually looking for a blue? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was... Okay. What? A grouse. Oh, cool. So we're just going to go nice and slow, but I'm sure... Lewis chickens. All in my pants. <laughs> what were you going to buy out here, man? Your money's no good out here. Yeah, See if we run into a Starbucks out here. Oh, I love Starbucks. <laughs> hey, you used either instant coffee? I haven't. Is it good? Oh my god. It's Game good, game, eh? Bro. Oh, really? Instant coffee is the best. Like, it's just coffee. No creamer, no sh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you take it? How do you take it? How do you take it? Black. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're black. We, uh, we, our favorite is, uh, we haven't tried that, so our favorite so far is the Nescafe Gold. Okay. That's our favorite instant coffee, but I'll, I'll give. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. Some. It's awesome. Well, next time, man. Yeah, this is gonna be the first of many. Our first meal is Thanksgiving dinner with my mom and my sister and the kids. <laughs> I'll give you the address. So we're looking back at the campsite there with our own private peninsula out there and the sun shining down on us on this big rock face. So well, here we are, we've reached Barrett South. This is our Claire's last last section to complete on the coastal trail. Yeah, I did it. We both did the whole trail this year. <laughs> and we finished her off with Zane. Now we're gonna have a little uh, a little rest, maybe some a snack and a little rehydration. Take in what Superior has to offer here and uh, check out this campsite at Barrett South and uh, drink in the afternoon a little bit. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is uh, our buddy Zane's badass vest. It's like maybe the coolest crest I've seen on the back of a vest. And of course, he's an upstanding member of the Friends of Lake Superior Park. But of course. And we're friends, I'm your buddy. <laughs> That's right, he's your new friend as well. I'll hike with you anytime. <laughs> awesome, and Cher was just saying, so we just finished our, our, uh, the entire Lake Superior Coastal Trail. What were you saying there, Cher? Um, we started in July. We hiked uh, the first section with friends. 
and then we hiked the second section in August with friends and we just finished the last section with a great friend. So what a great trip we've had along the Superior Coast Trail. Best, best experience with friends, apparently. Soup ruin. Yeah. There's probably some additional benefits in there. I would think so. Pine needle tea. Hey friends, we are back from our hike up north to Barrett South with Zane. Sherry is doing Sudoku here. She's just uh, keeping the mind sharp as you as you like in the back country. You can't have random numbers just going all willy nilly and you not knowing how to put them in the right place to add up to nine in every direction when you're in the back country. You need to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sitting out here on the beach, which last night was very, very tempestuous and windy. Today it is actually quite beautiful. It is, um, if you see here, very, very calm, beautiful sunset, very few clouds here. And I figured now would be a very good time. I've said very, very many times, sorry friends. Um, I figured now would be a good time to give you guys a tour of the camp. This is what we think is probably the best campsite we've seen on our whole trek today uh, and yesterday from Agawad north to Barrett. And I'm just going to give you a quick roam around on it just to see if you agree with us. So here we are at the beach itself. Again, absolutely breathtaking view. It's, uh, you'll notice from yesterday's videos of the same beach that it is completely different in terms of vibe, but it is still just as gorgeous. All of this here is a peninsula that comes off of this little spit that we are on that runs from here out to about there. It's just a very narrow, maybe 20 yards wide of sort of cobble with, uh, with this little strip of land, Isthmus, I think it would be called. Perhaps it's called that, I don't know. Um, anyway, so if we keep going, we come here to the fire pit. This is where we make our fire and have our dinner. Tonight it's gonna to be great because it's a uh, calmer night here. And just that away, is up that hill you can maybe see that's where we have our bear hang uh, hanging off that pine tree that's also the way out of the campsite you can see our tent up here this is not the ideal tent pad because it's kind of on a bit of a slant here but it was the only spot calm enough to give us some respite from the wind last night. Um, we might move it before we go to bed. There's another tent pad in here, but it's even more slanted. And here we could put, but it's yet again just a, not in a great spot. So, but then over here, you can come through the trees and you're going to notice it gets a little bit more windy and a little bit more tempestuous out here. Last night this was the calm side. Tonight it is decidedly not. So we're not going to spend much time over here but there's a whole other cobble beach on this side. And then if you follow this over here, this is the trail that led us to that beautiful sunset last night and we'll probably take in another sunset from that same vantage tonight. But wanted to show you the campsite. That is what um, Sinclair North campsite looks like and it's just gorgeous because if you notice it's just humongous 
because it's not on the trail so nobody else comes out here unless you come out to look at the campsite no one else is anywhere near here so it's kind of great so we're pretty stoked to have been honored enough to have the two nights so we're going to get back at you sherry's going to finish up her sudoku and we're going to cook some dinner i think zane has um left and he's on his way back to his trailer but it was such a treat to have him here um, with us and to share the day he is such a generous and beautiful soul and uh, he loves the backcountry as much as we do so we look forward to maybe doing more camping with him in the future but um we're so happy to have him today sure yeah and i think he really enjoyed the trail i yep. don't know if he's done too much of this the coastal trail with the rocks along the rocks so he loved that and um, found some souvenirs and yeah we had a great hike awesome so we will, uh, we'll see you shortly when we're cooking dinner, probably, friends. We've got our, our stuff is all charged up. My mission was successful today. <laughs> so we've got things charged up. And so we can show you how, how we cook meals that we've dehydrated. And that'll be super fun, too. Yay. Yay, supper. Supper is awesome. It is time to make a little bit of mocha and then maybe some dinner. What are we gonna have for dinner tonight, Sharon? Um, chicken Thai curry. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm. That sounds wonderful, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Actually, Sherry was, while I was on my secret mission, Sherry uh, gathered a bunch of wood. This last bit of wood actually we carried from two bays over mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end of our trip, but Sherry did a great job of gathering a bunch of wood for us, so now, uh, we should be able to have a nice fire into the evening to warm our bones up. Check our food, Cher. Do you, uh, do you want to tell the folks what it is we're having for dinner tonight? I already told them. It's chicken Thai curry. Oh, we did tell them that. Right. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if they were paying attention. Sometimes you With tend... rice. Of course. I'm just going to have it in here, baby. So I'll just give you... I think that's done. Oh, there's a lot here. This is a lot. So I hope you're hungry. I'm Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so chicken Thai curry with mixed vegetables and rice. You're probably not going to be able to see that very well. We shredded the chicken before but, we dehydrated it. 
which yeah was was a, a newfound smart thing technique yeah great technique <laughs> whoa <laughs> you just about saw your old pal Jay end up in the fire it's about no good to nobody hmm. and then we use peanut peanut powder and coconut powder powdered peanut, peanut butter milk and powder coconut milk powder yep Mmm, so good, Cher. Feels like we're on a Thai archipelago overlooking the South Pacific. Except it's really cold. <laughs> Everything else checks out, though. I thought today was great with... Um, Zane's Adventure Machine slash Avocado Adventures. He's oh, not... That was a fun surprise. <laughs> yeah, great company. He surprised Sherry with a whole bunch of gifts for her birthday, which is coming up in a few days. So if you guys are not sure what to get Sherry, don't get her what Zane already got her, which was a Nalgene. A very sweet Nalgene water bottle with some really cool with some Lake Superior stickers it's Lake Superior uh, Provincial Park Nalgene yeah and a button that says I hiked the coastal trail that I can wear proudly now because I have done the entire trail you got her some cookies from a bakery on Sandpoint Road which is close by here yeah so we have some cookies for dessert, which is a nice treat. We don't usually pack cookies. Yeah, <laughs> and just just a great day with him. He was he was awesome to visit with. Very sweet. Yeah. The sun was out all day. The sun was out, so my guns were out, folks. <laughs> but of course, that's not true. <clears throat> Yeah, it was such a gorgeous day, and it's supposed to be a nice day tomorrow, so I think we'll take our time leaving tomorrow. I don't think we have to rush out of here. Mm -hmm. We'll have two coffees, maybe a little bit of mocha in it. We just had a surprise after <laughs> eight hot chocolate. We thought we were just having a mocha, but it was <laughs> after eight hot chocolate, so there's mint in it. Mint. So we bonused hard. Maybe we'll have just a straight-up hot chocolate before we go for bed. Mm -hmm. Who sees? We're just like... Super decadent these days, now that we're just in you know, days where we don't have to set up camp and break camp. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we did hike, we did hike up to Barrett. There were some sections of rock where the waves definitely would not have let us pass yesterday. So I think that we stopped here yesterday was a good call. And then the bonus of not having to dismantle our camp and pack it up this morning was nice and then reset it up. So it's kind of a nice treat to stay in the same spot for two nights. Generally, we're moving every day. But yeah, it was a nice treat. A nice change of pace. Yeah. yeah. To not have to change our pace. Yeah, and this site is... Phenomenal. Phenomenal sight. I'm going to show you guys the uh, color of the sky. <laughs> you should check this out. This is our view for dinner time. Pretty rough. Pretty rough life. You don't have to feel too bad for us, guys. And it is calm and beautiful tonight. We're gonna sleep like babies.
Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for you to say good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, <laughs> campers. So it is the morning of, I guess it would be day four, technically, right? Yeah. Here on uh, on the south end of the Lake Superior Coastal Trail, we're at Sinclair North, and it's a calm, beautiful morning. It's a little bit chilly, but it's not as cold as it's been, and the clouds are out a little bit. But it's still a beautiful calm morning. We're making some um, some coffee and then some breakfast. I think we're gonna have some chili for breakfast. Why not? Right? Um, so we were just talking last night. We had beautiful. Uh, you'll see. I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to edit in some of the great shots that Sherry got. Some really really great shots of the moon. Um, I got some mediocre shots of the moon. <laughs> Um, but some cool shots of the sort of the setting evening. Uh, it was just such a gorgeous night. We were in bed by nine, shortly after nine, I think it was. So I actually had to go away to get shots of the moon because it hadn't quite risen yet. Um, but yeah, we we enjoyed such a beautiful evening, and we're gonna take our time this morning getting out of here. Not because we're lazy, but because we deserve it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sherry is a, a lady of few words in the morning, <laughs> as you guys probably know already. And I'm a man of many words all the time. So here we sit. But we're going to get this coffee going. Maybe a coffee will perk some conversation into us. <laughs> all right. Squirrels are having a scrap. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, buddy. I hear you, little buddy. I'm gonna put this jacket on and pack it up. It's a little bit chilly with that wind. They're both, they're just screaming at each other. Just running around.
Okay, I don't know what I did either. <laughs> so we are ready to bid adieu to this beautiful campsite here and uh, hike out. We're only about a half hour, maybe 35 minutes, depending on how spry we feel this morning. How spry do you feel, Sharon? Sure. Yeah, I feel good. Feel pretty spry? Yeah. Nice. Okay, you lead the way then. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we're going to be, we'll see you back at, at the camp. We're going to see if we can stop in at the Voyager, maybe get some fritters for um, Thanksgiving dessert. That's a surprise for the family. How is them team? <laughs> so we'll see you guys in a little bit. That's a re reset button. Just reset everything. Refreshing. As refreshing as it gets. <laughs> Just like a total reset. 